Well, we got the unofficial start to the holiday shopping season last weekend with the kickoff of Black Friday and Cyber Monday. And it seems like the big winner was everybody online. And while people were buying, they weren't necessarily paying now. A big win was for those buy now, pay later platforms, including Affirm Holdings, which saw its stock rally this week and is sitting at the highest level in a year. Wayne Pommen is the chief revenue officer at Affirm Firm Holdings and joins us now. Thanks so much for being with me. Thanks for having me. So for those who are not familiar, I mean, I see the logo whenever I'm going to check out. Do I want to pay full now or do I want to just sign up with the firm? But, but what's the business model? Is it as simple as I can buy now and just pay later? Yeah, that's right. So you, you might see us in a checkout like at Amazon or Apple or Hudson's Bay where we're embedded right there in the e-commerce checkout as a payment method. It's kind of like an alternative to credit cards. And we give the customer a simple payment plan, whether they want to pay in four installments or six installments or 12 installments. And the idea is it's very simple, easy to understand. Will the total ultimately be the same or do you now, you'll have to pay an interest rate? So some of our plans are interest free, depending on what the merchant wants to do and some have an interest rate. But what we never have at a firm is late fees. We don't have compounding interest or revolving interest like a credit card. We don't have deferred interest. We make it really clear what the customer owes and they can never owe more than that. How do you manage that in a, in a kind of a rising interest rate environment? What's the interest rate sensitivity? Yeah, so interest rates are a, a cost for our business, yeah. but we've really designed the business to kind of work in all, all weather conditions, if you will. So we've seen this big interest rate rise over the past few years, but we've continued to post good profits and be able to deliver the product that you know, drives results for merchants and consumers. Let's talk about the weather then, <laughs> the, when it comes to uh, the consumer. Have you seen a greater uptick as you know people are dealing with inflation, struggling to make kind of that huge lump sum payment? I think the main thing we've been seeing is just this long-term adoption mm. of buy now, pay later. So it's been going on, you know, four or five, six years now. Where on, the, on a digital platform, right? Because in stores, you know, there was layaway, there was all that. Yeah, it's it's our biggest share is in digital, but we're moving more and more in store as well with our firm card product. We now have a physical card. But what we're seeing is our product just gained share of payments steadily over time. And we saw that on Black Friday as well. You were also, uh, you know, you were one of those class of 2020, 2021 IPOs, you know, when growth was going gangbusters. So obviously um, a little bit of air has come out of that. But as you progress, um, what do you see as the catalyst of growth? You mentioned kind of moving in store. Yeah, there's a few different things. Uh, we have our firm card product, which we've started to scale. And it's a, it's a physical card that consumers get, and it can either be used as a debit card or to take out an installment loan. We've just started scaling it. We're up to about a half a million consumers and about $100 million a month of business going through the card. So we're excited about that. And then we just see a lot of opportunity in our big partners like Shopify, Walmart, Amazon, Apple. Uh, and we're going international as well. We, How do you we work with the, with the platform companies like Shopify and Amazon? Is it to sell <laughs> to their network of merchants? So we, we, Shopify is a great example. <laughs> so we built our product into ShopPay, which is Shopify's wallet, and to create an installments product called ShopPay Installments. And then their entire network of merchants can turn that on as a, as a payment So you'll white label offerings too. Yeah, that one's more of a co-brand. It's ShopPay Installments. It's clear that Affirm is the brand, but we will do that for large partners. So is part of the growth story the fact that as more and more of these retailers digitize themselves and go online that a firm is kind of a natural part of what they could offer online? Yeah, that's part of it. But I think there's just a general trend among the consumer for the demand for fair, transparent, easy to understand payment op options, alternative to credit card, that don't leave people in debt, that don't rack up these revolving compounding interest balances. I think that's what's driving a lot of the growth. Do you do, you do credit checks? Like, how do you ensure <clears throat> the credit quality at the same time that you're not going to charge late fees? Great question. I could go on all day about this. So what's special about us is we underwrite each transaction. So when we see a customer come through with a purchase, we're looking at the size of the purchase, the merchant, the customer's repayment history with us, a whole bunch of, of data points, and we're underwriting each transaction at that time, which lets us like maximize- Like in seconds? Or less than seconds. Less than seconds, Which yeah. allows us to maximize our approval rate, but also control risk. So we're not giving customers an open line of credit mm. and hoping that it goes well. We're underwriting every single transaction, every, every second of the day. And you're able, I guess you've programmed, you've created that algorithm that can just do that. Correct. We have massive engineering and data science teams that are working on this, machine learning as part of it. Yeah. Um, I, and I want to go back to kind of the push in store. I'm always curious when sort of 
platforms that have done really well online, they do feel the need to be in store. And we talk so much about, well, that's just gone. That's the old way. Everybody's online. But, but yeah. what is the state of in-store shopping? Yeah, it's not going away. I mean, e-commerce has obviously grown a lot, and we saw that happen over Black Friday, Cyber Monday as well. But, you know, 80% of retail sales are still in store. So it's really important to our retailers. We can't ignore that. What about groceries? Would you... Groceries, yeah. We think there's a, there's applicability in groceries as well, and we think we're seeing these installment payments. And you're not there yet. Not in a big way, but we're, we're heading there. All right.